just as we pulled up, I heard a clonk. So that one's good. That one's broken. So my upper arm's just... Anyone got a ratchet strap? Yep. Yeah. Ratchet strap fix. I don't know how far we're going to make it, but... Oh, we'll give it a go. Time to go. down the track because apparently Daniel tried a bog hole when we left the creek and now he's stuck and they're saying that he could really do it with a winch but I can't come back down here I only just sort of making it up with this arm broken like it is in the front so I'm gonna wander down have a look and see hopefully Tyler we can snatch him out but we'll wait and see because Daniel loves getting stuck good and proper I think they just got him out he's down there because I was too slow getting back down the hill, there's some photos that Tyler and Melissa have taken. Well, it wasn't running. We checked the airbox. The airbox is sucked in a bit of water because they're not completely sealed the way we do them. They're not made to be completely submerged. There's nothing in the throttle body. We pulled the cover for the coil packs off. That's all dry because he's siliconed it all up in the past. The filter didn't suck in much water at all. Just a little. And it wasn't running. Now it's running a little bit better. We can actually throttle Lucky it I've got my boots on, huh? Yeah. Now we just got to drill a hole in the floor pan and get rid of the water. Your car's taking a leak. It's still driving? Yeah. We took your advice. We let it dry yeah. out and it's fine now. <laughs> it's all your fault. Your fucking fault. Don't you shake your head. Yeah. You've done this how many times? <laughs> so we'll do a quick update. Cars. About the territory cars, breaking down. About the territory <laughs> breaking down, yeah. Chris, Chris, Chris turned up. He's the adventurer. I heard he broke down, so I was, I was out here quick smart. <laughs> Yeah, the territory broke. Yep. But this is what broke. For the upper arm, K neck ones. And then I also managed to thread and stuff me sway bar links. I don't have one of them now. And I also found out that the standard brackets can't be used with a 60mm spacer because they fell on the shock top. So a bit more modification to get that to work. This is what I sort of want to do anyway because it lowers the ball joint angles. So now I'm going to get another factory one and do the same on the other side. And they just won't be adjustable. They'll have to be shimmed like factory. But it works out good. Sway bar is just sitting there for now. Till I fix that in another day. <laughs> but yeah, that should keep me going for the tracks today. And this is camp. Is territory, 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 territory. Is that all of them? Yeah. <laughs> AU <laughs> and the adventure.
don't care about the car. I think now we're more bush bashing than actually driving down a track. It's got tire spikes written all over it. I don't know how much further we can go. So a car is turning around because this track just turns into like a single motorbike track that just goes off through the bush. So now we're going to turn around and go back the way we come. Done all this for nothing. <laughs> is that right, Sophia? <laughs> we done it for fun. Yeah. Daniel done a sidewall this time. <laughs> we can't plug it. Tried plugging it, but it's just too big. And we don't have enough plugs, we ran out of plugs. So somehow we're gonna try a 245 for my other territory. 245-65 instead of what? Yours 235-65. Yeah. So they're one size bigger, but hopefully if we deflate it enough, it won't fuck the all-wheel drive system up. I gotta carry on the theme. I just thought I'd better show everyone. I'm still exactly the same with my bad shoe choice. The good going out shoes are now. They're off road shoes. They're off road shoes now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.